Hi, hello, this is Trainer from your plants training. So in today's session, we will be practically, uh, and a bit diagraphically, we will be seeing what exactly is leading ledger and what is the purpose of non-leading ledger. So why are we using? So in the last class, we have done the configuration relating to your uh, ledgers for general ledger accounting, currencies of the leading ledger, activate and deactivate, uh, define and activate non-leading ledgers, assign scenarios and customer fields to the ledgers, as well we have activated cost of sales accounting. Then we have also defined the ledger field. Now we would be seeing what exactly is, you know, why this has been come, why this uh, new GL has come into picture let's see that okay so for example let me open ppt Now, when we open here, so we'll be learning about the ledger concept now. ledgers in SAP. So basically here we have two types of ledgers, is it not? So here we have actually in SAP S4 HANA, we will be talking about a uh, few other ledger which is also called as the extension ledger. Earlier in uh, 4.6, 4.7, it was also there in ECC version, wherein we used to call it as a appendix ledger. But now in SAP, earlier in Simple Finance, also we used to call it as an appendix ledger. Now in Simple Finance HANA, we are naming, we have named it as a extension ledger. So why? What is a uh, use of this ledgers we will be seeing. First, let us talk about the classic GL. Let's talk about the classic GL. For example, we had earlier the classic GLs. FI Classic GL. So classic general, what we call it as FI classic GL, which we are working in. So earlier, we used to work with the FI classic GL. Then 
uh, in this classic GL, we have different tables. Uh, what are the uh, classic GL requirements? Let's see. So what are the legal requirements for this classic GL? Then, we had another uh, concept in this, is your reconciliation ledger, what we had it. So we used to work with the reconciliation ledger. Where do we do? We do maintain different reconciliations between your uh, finance and as well as the uh, the uh, CEO concepts. So reconciliation ledger concepts. Then we had our new ledger concepts. Now this ledger reconciliation ledger used to save in the particular tables. And we used to have another version called management accounting and uh, the segment reporting, what we have learned it, management accounting and segment reporting. So let us go with that particular uh, management accounting and uh, segment reporting. management and segment reporting. So this was the feature of this new GL concept itself. Earlier in uh, new GL only, this particular uh, segment reporting and management reporting has come. Then we had another uh, characteristics of this uh, new GL concept was your special purpose ledger. Nothing but the special ledgers, what we had uh, learned about it. So special ledgers. Now we have another concept, not only the FIGL concept, we would also have the concept of cost of sales accounting. So we learned about the cost of sales accounting, nothing but where we can maintain the cost related to your management accounting production cost and all. So this was also a part of your ECC 6.0 version itself. And it was there in the new GL concept. And the same now it is also uh, applicable in SAP S4 HANA, Simple Finance HANA. But for all this, we used to work with a one table called Fagel Flexit. So let's say uh, for this, we used to work with the, a table called Fagel, Fagel Flexit. So all this data used to save in this particular table. That is Fagel Flexed, which is nothing but it is one total table where all the data are so anyways. Now it is not there in your SAP Simple Finance HANA, which is replaced with AC Doke. Now here Fagel Flexed is financial accounting, general ledger settings. Okay, general ledger, accounting, extension settings. So here we are going to maintain all your financial accounting settings and all this particular data will be saved in this particular table. After this, then the main concept which has come into line is all about your leading and non-leading ledgers. So that is what we have done in the last class. So we have defined the ledgers for general ledger accounting. We have defined the currencies and we have also activated cost of sales accounting so that the cost of your manufacture or cost of your production will also be viewed at one place itself. Now, here we will be learning about two concepts.
so here we will be learning about the two concepts one is your leading ledger leading ledgers then non leading ledger then your extension ledger so in sap s4 hana this is the most uh, uh, thing which you have been increased which have been in enhanced apart from leading ledger non leading ledger we will also work with the non leading ledger so let's see what is a non leading ledger leading ledger details anyways now the leading ledger what we have defined we know it it as 0l because we we understood that 0l is a standard uh, for your leading ledger always 0l is for leading ledger which is there for in your uh, you know organization itself the last day we have learned about it also we have checked it what is a leading ledger if you see here defined ledgers for general ledger accounting here we can view it so here you can see 0l so 0l is a leading ledger where we follow with ifrs accounting principles and always it is a leading ledger now we can define non leading ledger so we have defined for our company as non leading ledger 1 that is uh, we said it is a non leading ledger for your company uh, which was your company uh, data company code now what is the purpose of this leading ledger and what is the purpose of non leading ledgers so basically leading ledger will be uh, let's say a companies let us uh, have an overview or let's have an uh, organizational structure so we know the first uh, concept in your organizational structure is client is it not so we know the client is the first organizational structure first unit entity in your organizational structure then then comes your leading ledger for example you have defined for your client let's say uh, one leading ledger is by default anyways there for this client leading ledger and that is 0l which we say it is leading ledger and this basically maintained in ifrs uh, uh, principles nothing but according to ifrs accounting principles this particular data will be prepared so by this we should understand that all the leading ledger information is prepared or all the leading ledgers reports are done based on your ifrs principles so it is nothing but your ifrs principles so for this one particular leading ledger we can have n number of company codes for example company code 1 so here we can use n number of uh, uh, company codes so let's say this is your one company code so let's see company code one ccd one i am telling so let's say company code one and here also company code 
like that company code 3 so all your information this particular company codes information will be maintained in the leading ledger concept nothing but all this will be maintained according to the principles of ifrs which we have given So based on the IFRS principles, all this company details will be filled. Like this, for a company, we can have a non-leading lecture as well. So we can also have a non-leading lecture concept. So what is the purpose of this non-leading lecture? We already discussed in our last session. We discussed that the purpose of this non-leading lecture is you can have a segment reporting, nothing but you can maintain different reports in one particular countries, one particular project, you can have n number of different reports. So let's see the same. So here, if you see, we have defined the non-leading ledger. Basically, first we will see what are the uh, main things which are integrated to your ledger. So, for example, let's say for your leading ledger, which is 0L, you have different uh, versions of reporting, right? So, we have to include different uh, reports. For example, your asset accounting reporting. Like that, you have another let's say uh, we do have a management accounting reporting. Like that, we do have. Uh, Like that you, you have your SD FI integration. So all this happens from here. Like that we do have another concept of MM integration. FI MM integration. So all this will be maintained here. If you see, all these are integrated with your leading ledger. So all the reports will be maintained based on your leading ledger concept or all this information will have to be maintained according to the IFRS accounting principles, where you said that is your main ledger, that is your leading ledger. So not it is uh, the customer defined or the user defined, it is SAP defined that all the leading ledgers will be maintained according to the IFRS accounting principles. So this, proper, this particular information will be maintained according to your IFRS principles. Now let's talk about the non-leading ledger. So why, what is the purpose of this non-leading ledger? So if you define the non-leading ledger, let's say for our company, uh, we maintained a non-leading ledger one, right? So, and we said it is NL, right? So this particular non-leading ledger, NL, what we have maintained, Let's say it is according to principle US gap. So we are maintaining this non-leading ledger principle, non-leading, non-leading ledger reports based on the US gap. Like that, we can have n number of non-leading ledgers. For example, another non-leading ledger. Non-leading ledger. So let's say n uh, zero so that can be maintained according to uk gap so by this what we what we should understand that reporting can be done segment wise 
so for a company there can be a n number of non leading ledgers but it yeah, but it will be only one leading ledger so for example we have a client and as for for this client we can have one leading ledger as well as n number of non non leading ledger where we can maintain the segment wise reporting for that particular non leading ledger so all the reporting now for this particular client where by using the nl ledger the us gap principles will be applied and for n0 ledger non leading ledger uk gap principles will be applied so you can view this uh, reports in different countries for example we know one of the main characteristic of sap simple finance it was there in new gl concept also wherein we can configure at most three currencies but when we come to s4 hana we can almost configure 10 currencies so that means you can view your project or you can view your reporting in 10 different currency details currency project so what that is also one of the uh, important uh, uh, configuration why sap is simple finance has emerged so that is what we have done in the last session we have defined it the non leading ledgers and assigned it so we defined one non leading ledger that is nl and uh, let's see here. yeah so we said this is non leading ledger uh let us also see it is your us gap okay so this data will be performed based on your us gap details so nothing but it is the currency what we can maintain here is us now we will be learning about the parallel accounting principle so we have done the configurations relating to ledgers now in the last class we discussed that today in the present class we will be talking about the parallel accounting so what are the principles for your parallel accounting why a parallel accounting so as i said the name itself says parallel accounting that means your report can be defined in different accounting principles parallelly so for example us accounting principles as well as uk accounting principles and as well as your ifrs so here what you do what you do is we define our accounting principles and then assign this particular desired ledger group to this accounting principles for example zero l or ol is anyways according to your ifrs so zero l data is anyways maintained according to the ifrs accounting principle then now as we have specified one of the non leading ledger as nl so here you need to specify for your ledger group what is the accounting principle you are going to define let's say we just said that it is us us gap so you have to define this accounting principle and assign that accounting principle to your nl ledger so let us define it so the menu path is spro sap reference ing financial accounting financial accounting global settings parallel account ledgers parallel accounting then you have define accounting principles click on new entries so let's say nl as we said and let's say 
us gap okay and let us give you enter save enter in the request now go back so this particular accounting principle we have defined right now let us assign this particular principle to your ledger group assign accounting principle to ledger groups so for a consistency check let us see let us see what is the uh, ledger assigned to or what is the principle assigned to 0l ledger if you see click on position and see for the 0l ledger so always it would be your ifrs principle itself gap right now click on new entries accounting select so first let us integrate our 0l ol ledger what you'll see so already that is available here yeah nl and the target ledger group for this also would be nl enter save save in the request go back so this way we have defined accounting principles you can define uh, other accounting principle also like uk accounting principle and define one of the non leading ledger and assign it with it now real time integration of controlling and financial accounting that we will be doing but a uh, few after few configurations now let's talk about the document related thing now here we will talk about the document types if you remember we have done the document type configuration in ecc it was there only for the only one view that is entry view in ledger right or entry view but now here we have two types of layer document types uh, one is view entry view in the ledger and one is at the general ledger view by this we can see for this for which ledger the document has been posted like as we have 0l and nl so here we are going to define the document types for your ledger view as well as enter, uh, general ledger view so before we will see what is a ledger view so here we make settings specifying the document type for postings to non leading ledger so that is why it is said entry view in the ledger anyway zero uh, ledger when it is say document types for view it would be a 0l ledger only so separately we are also defining it for non leading ledgers so we define types for entry queue and uh, we work with the leading ledgers and non leading ledgers here so to define this document type for postings to non ledger non ledger we have to proceed like we have to separate we have to create a separate document type for this postings and assign that particular numeric number range to the document type for each ledger for example let's say a uh, document type there's sx and the closing postings ledger l2 which is non leading ledger as well as your number range like that another ledger non leading ledger l3 same document type and number range is different so to differentiate we have to create a different number range also so spro sap reference img financial accounting financial accounting global settings document document types define document types for ledger so here it is asking for let's give 0l and c ledger so it is say it is not permitted because for 0l or ol ledger the standard document type applies so we cannot create a separate document type for this particular ledger now let us give nl what we have created non leading ledger enter so new entries so what is a document type so let's 
assign a document type called SA. So we know SA is a document type for the ledgers. So let us create, uh, let us assign the document type ledger SA for your SA. GL account document type and let's say the number range is 01. Enter save. So as we define any, as we didn't define any other number range. So in the interview, when we check it, so for the GL account document type, the number range is 01. Okay. So let us create our own document type. Okay. So let's say NL, same document type. And let us give a number range as 8. Okay. So let's create a number range. So go back. Define document types for entry view. So click on position. Let's say document type SA. Double click on SA. So we can go for number range information. So here we would maintain a separate number range or the save number range for your essay document types. So give your company code, enter. Click on intervals. So let's maintain the number range here. And from number and to number is hypothetical number you can get. So anyways, in real life you will have, you'll be given a from number and to number, the sequence of your uh, documents. So let's say I'm giving from number So let's see. Enter. Save. Save in the request. Now go back. Let's create another interval. Insert line. Let's say 02. 2021. Enter, save. Now go back. Now define document types for entry view in a ledger. So it is in a ledger. So here you give your ledger, enter new entries now here you can integrate your number range which we have created so hit f4 and select the number range so we set as if now we will be going with the same number range SA and the number range we will assign for this is 01 and let us also go for another 02. Yeah, it says an entry already exists, no problem. We will define SA, enter save. Now define document type for general ledger view. So give your ledger, enter. Now new entries. So type.
essay and the number range I gave it as 0, 01. Save the data. Save in the request. So go back. Next. So document number ranges we have configured anyway, so no need of getting into it now. So let's talk about your posting keys. So we know the SAP works with or SAP postings are done through posting keys. Here we don't have any uh, you know, uh, kind of debit on credit. So instead of debit and credit characters, DR and CR, we go for the debit posting key and credit posting keys where the posting key controls uh, the ledger postings the parameters uh, like your field status group like your uh, entries so like your the field status group fields as well your document status now here the standard posting keys sap has given so let us see what are the standard posting keys, same like your ACC version itself. So 40 is for debit and 50 is for credit for GLs. If you see these are the standard, we can still create the Z customized uh, decodes, sorry, posting keys also. Now let us get into 40, 50. If you see here, 40 is a posting key given to debit the general ledger here. And 50 is for credit judge in the ledger. So as usual it is, go back. Currencies. So here maximum exchange rate difference. So here the enhancement in SAP S4 HANA is, we are maintaining the currency configurations here itself. And we can define maximum exchange rate difference based on your company code also. And maximum exchange rate difference based on the foreign currency. So based on the two uh, parameters, we can define the maximum exchange rate differences. So the menu path for the same is SPRO, SAP reference IMG, financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, global parameters per, for company code, currencies, maximum exchange rate differences, then you have defined maximum range rate difference per company code. Click on ING activity. Now if you see the same thing will also be reflected in your OBYC, nothing but the global parameters option. So click on position. So give your company code. Enter. So maximum percentage what we can maintain is 10. We can go for 10 percentage. So later on we can also change it. Save the data. Enter in the request. Go back. And define maximum rate difference for your foreign currency because we will be doing exchange rates, right? So what is the uh, you know, maximum exchange rate when you deal with the foreign currency evaluation? So click on new entries. So let's say already if you see here and it is not a company code specific, it is client specific. Already we have foreign currency, Euro and the pound, GBP pounds and USD. So if you want to define any more thing, you can. So click on new entries. Let's say another foreign currency, AUD, Australian dollar. Or let's go for AD, Hiram, local currency, INR. And the maximum range for the same is also 10. Enter. Then if you want to go for, let's say,
Enter, save. Okay, so he, here we have defined the different currencies. Okay, so whatever different currencies you have defined here, the maximum rate we have defined per company code, as well we have defined the same thing based on your foreign currency also. So this is a slight uh, thing. And indicate currency differences for partial payments that we won't be doing. Because if you are doing any currency differences for partial payment right now, so we may not do the excess partial payments if we want to do any more ex uh, uh, in the future. So tax related configurations also we will be doing. So country specific settings which is not allowed to us to do right now. So in our next session, we will be learning about the general ledger accounting settings where we'll be talking about the master data configurations. Yeah. So thank you.